So I'm in my kitchen today. I am just doing a little bit of cleaning. So I thought I would just talk to you while I clean so that, you know, I can get more than one thing done at a time, you know, a little multitasking. So today I am going to be packing for a trip because I'm going to Florida again. And I'm really excited. So one thing I really like about going to Florida is the weather there is going to be a lot warmer than the weather is here. It's going to be in the 80s. And it's only been like in the 70s here. It's still nice. But the thing I like about the 80s is I will get to pack some of my warmer garments that I haven't been able to wear so far this year here. So I'm looking forward to that. I was thinking that I may just take a bunch of dresses because you know they're easy, they're comfortable, and the weather should be just perfect for, for a dress. I also like to always pack some jeans just because you know it's nice to have pants every now and then especially if it gets a little chilly, maybe in the morning and maybe at night. So that's my plan for today. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen and start packing and getting ready for my trip. I also want to tell you that I have been working on one of the new McCall's patterns. Let me get it so I can share it with you. I cut out McCall's 8154 this jumpsuit pattern it just came out this spring I want to make the one that the model is wearing and this pattern is really involved I didn't realize it had so much going on you have the button front placket and then there are pleats in the pockets and then on the sleeves she has hers rolled up here but the sleeves actually have a cuff and the cuff has buttons there's this little belt in the back I know you can't see that but there's a little belt closure in the back and the sleeves are two pieces so you have a front sleeve and a back sleeve and there are just a whole bunch of seam lines and then you have the elastic that goes around the ankle so yeah this pattern is pretty involved it is rated average so this is what I have been working on so my hope is to have this finished so that I can share it with you in this video so let me share with you the fabric that I decided to use for this project. So I did not have enough fabric to make the whole garment out of the same fabric, but I knew I wanted to use this corduroy that I just purchased recently. And I love it. It's just a simple corduroy chocolate brown, which I love, love, love the color. But I didn't have enough, so I was like, okay, I'm not gonna let that stop me. I am just gonna use fabrics fabrics. I'm just going to use scrap fabrics for the other pieces that I fall short on. And that's what I did. So I ended up using this wool fabric. I cut all this stuff out. So these are still more scraps that I have left over after cutting all the pieces for this one. And then I used this fabric here. I also used a little piece of denim for the back neckband piece. But these are the three fabrics that I mashed together and we will see how it turns out in this project. So that's what I've been working on. So I'm going to finish cleaning this kitchen and then I will check back in with you soon. So I have been playing in my closet and I picked out a few garments that I want to take with me, a few things that I have sewn. So the first thing that I decided that I want to take is these pants. And these are a simplicity pair of pants, 8701. I made these very recently. And I decided that I will take these and pair these with a denim top. So that will be one outfit. The next outfit that I want to take is this dress. This is a Berta dress that I made. It's just long and comfortable. It has a split on the side. So I think that this will keep me nice and cool with the short sleeves. Real easy breezy pull on dress. 
The last dress is a little bit dressy. It's a simplicity pattern and it's nice and flowy. Has the gathers everywhere. I also made this in a white shirt. So I really like this dress and I've only worn it once. So I think this would be a great opportunity to throw this on again. Florida. I'm in Jacksonville and I am in my room relaxing and just enjoying the day. I actually had to get up this morning and make a run to Target because believe it or not, I forgot my toothbrush. I was like, how in the world did I forget my toothbrush? So I want to show you what I picked up, which I didn't know that they had now. So I have my little Target bag here. So I ended up picking up some more toothpaste while I was there. But I want to show you this toothbrush because I was like, oh, look at this. I got an eyebrow pencil too because I needed one of those. But this travel toothbrush folds up. So I thought that that was too cool. I've never seen anything like that before, which is perfect because normally, you know, I have my toothbrush sticking out of my makeup bag and I have to stuff it in there some kind of way but this folds up so I thought that that was a brilliant new tool so I wanted to share that so yes now the last time I was here in Jacksonville I went to the beach I don't think I'm going to go to the beach again this time I'm not exactly sure what I want to do I have a couple ideas, but I'll take you with me no matter what I decide. And if you live in Jacksonville and you know of some places that I should maybe check out, please let me know in the comments because I may be coming back and then I can check out some of those spots. So that would be good information to have if you have anything to share. I have been lounging in this set that I made. It is just so comfortable with this little, it looks like a robe, but I think it's supposed to be a coat. Let me show you what I'm actually wearing the full set together. I'm gonna put this camera on the floor. So hopefully you can see me. Okay. So, I've shown this before, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like with this on with it. This thing is just so comfy. I actually wore this on the airplane. So I had this on the airplane on top of my little denim jacket because I was just so concerned that I was going to be really cold. And this kind of helped just to keep me nice and comfortable. So... I will get ready and take you with me and you'll get to see what I do for the rest of the day.
I decided to come downtown to the river walk. Let me show you where I am. It is just really nice. And the weather is nice too. It's in the 70s. And there's the bridge that I just drove over. So this is how I'm gonna spend my day. Just walking around here and enjoying the peace and tranquility remember when I was telling you in the beginning of the video that I made the jumpsuit out of scrap fabric well I was able to take pictures and a little video clip of me in the garment before I took my trip here because I was able to get it done before I left which I was so excited about so I will go ahead and insert some footage showing you the final result of that jumpsuit. with the way that the jumpsuit turned out. The one change that I made is that I didn't include the belt that goes in the back of the garment. Other than that, I didn't make any other changes. I did wanna mention that there are pleats in the sleeve because I think I forgot to mention that. So before I go, I wanna leave you with a love share. So I recently found out about a fabric company online that thought was really nice and as soon as I saw it I just knew I would be sharing it with you all I cannot pronounce it I won't even attempt so what I will do is go ahead and put it somewhere on the screen maybe here I don't know but hopefully here if you're interested you can check it out I think you might like it they had some really nice fabrics and I think I will be also making a purchase here soon 